Uh, right now, we're headed to Frandor. There's a, a two-car accident uh, in the parking lot. Normally, we wouldn't respond to a, a private party accident. Um, we only respond to accidents that happen on the roadway, but because one of the drivers doesn't want to give his information over, that's why we're going to respond to this. So it's, uh, there's an accident, I guess, out here in front of the, the heart, Ice Hardware store here in Frandor. And a witness possibly observed uh, a black truck back into a, an SUV. Uh, the truck has no damage, the SUV does have damage. The witness isn't 100% sure that, the, that it is the truck that hit it. So we're just basically looking at the, the bumpers of the truck, see if there is kind of damage. It's out of the ordinary right there. Yeah. I don't know if it's a scuff right there. Or... I would think it would probably, you know, hit this. Yeah, but that's, so like, hard that's to... like up there on the bumper, so. Yeah, it'd have to be higher. Right. So that's the only thing I see as far as out of the ordinary. The driver of the truck doesn't believe there was any kind of accident. He doesn't remember hitting the, the vehicle, so we're just taking a, a look at the truck to see if there's kind of associated damage with that damage. Uh, we do determine that there's you no know, damage to, to both vehicles. We'll have them just exchange insurance information, and then they'll go about their day. He for sure was backing up. That's what she's claiming. Okay. And he admits he was backing up in this area, okay. but he says he never hit her car. Okay. Um, is there any pre-existing damage to the, the back of your vehicle at all that you know of? There shouldn't be. Shouldn't be, okay. There's a little bit of a, maybe a scuff to the, you know, your driver's side, kind of the upper where the, uh, the like bumper the step, is. Step mount is on the step. bumper. Yeah, kind of step mount maybe, but no, nothing really really serious. I, on, um, you want to go and come out and take yeah, a look real I, quick? I didn't even see that. It's, yeah. This is what we're talking about right here. Maybe. It's a little bit right there. See that right there? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Was that there before? Is you made it's, it's a brand new car, so okay. I mean, Easiest uh, thing to do, you guys, we can just exchange insurance information. You can just tell your insurance company that you know you don't think you hit anybody, and you know, there's not really any damage to, to the car, and kind of go that way. So um, there, if you if we, just, we actually get some exchange of information cards, we can just write down like your insurance company, the policy number, and she'll okay. just like your. Easiest thing is actually you just you like your registration insurance and your license. Everyone just take a picture of each other's stuff, yeah. and then you just call your your own insurance company to get it handled. But with that, I mean, it's up to you whether you want to contact your insurance company or, or not. So to. you don't like, you don't have insane. to. Like yeah. you don't have to, but I'm you know. Like positive, I didn't hit a car, so it's okay. All right, and the insurance company will get a hold of the police too, and they'll you know they'll, we'll say that you know there's not for sure that it happened, but that it's possible because yeah. there's a little bit of a scuff mark. So there's no way to say for sure that you know it happened. It may not have, but well, so I mean, as long as like my insurance doesn't go up because of this, it shouldn't. I, I don't sure think so. There's no way to say for we sure that this no happened, but yeah. just to kind of make sure that everyone's everyone's covered, we'll just exchange information that works for you. Okay. So right, if you fine. if you want to, I guess if you can grab your license registration insurance, I can just we can I, I and, I'll, and he'll grab hers. Okay. Uh, no, you, you just gave me, uh, yeah, you did, sorry. I okay. a bunch of stuff in my pockets. Um, yeah. Um, Do you have those exchange information cards I'll handy? Have to, have to okay. Them. If not, we can just we'll actually we'll just have her either write down or take a photo, and we'll grab hers. You can do the same for hers, and uh, just so you have it, you don't yeah, like I say, you don't have yeah. to give it to your tell your insurance company. Not required, anything like that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, like, I I, I just don't want this to be any bigger yeah. than it needs. No, to be. yeah. Like, so we'll get this like said, get that really done. We'll get you out of here. As far as I mean, if you have your insurance handy, well, we're just gonna do a quick exchange of information for you guys. We've got his stuff and. Okay. Obviously, easiest thing to probably do, we'll have to lay out his driver's license and registration insurance. You can just take a okay. picture of it, that way you can call your insurance, insurance have that stuff. My phone. That's okay, my real, okay. Recent. Can I run that over there real quick and I'll give yeah, it right back absolutely. to you? Okay. Uh, we looked at you know, both vehicles. There was damage to the, the SUV, but there was only maybe possible damage to the truck that was involved. We weren't able to you know, say with 100% certainty that you know, the truck did back into that SUV. Um, so you need, do you have your phone? Can you take a quick shot of, of this real quick yeah, of their yeah. insurance and stuff? But like I said, just, 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 in, just in case. Yeah, so here's all your stuff back, ma'am. Thank you. So what you want to do is get a, a picture of his license registration and, and his, his insurance. It's on his phone as, as okay. well. Okay. Uh, I can just hold that for you real quick. I appreciate you guys coming out and helping us. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, so we ended up doing. We just we were able to you know talk to the, both the, the owners of the vehicles and have them exchange insurance information just as a, a precautionary measure, and they were cooperative in that. So they'll basically get a hold of their insurance companies and handle it from there. Okay, should be all set. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Take care. Uh, when, we, when we respond to traffic accidents, most of the time people are you know, pretty cooperative. They you know realize you know one half you know made a mistake or having a bad day for whatever reason, and they uh, typically you know 
understand when they have to be issued citations or you know be found a, you know responsible you know, for committing a, committing a hazardous action they usually don't have a, an issue with it every once in a while we'll have somebody that you know disagrees or 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 whatnot but most of the time you know they they can accept it and um someone's issued a citation they get the report number and they they move on with their lives all right all right take good. care Your incident has been updated. For the unit going on a quickie, 4820 Southway, really, down with the gold Kia Q's, black male with braids, I believe that was the driver, also had a passenger, black gun, we're still getting further. Uh, we're getting to uh, dispatch to a call of uh, shots fired. Someone's calling in uh, from a convenience store on the south end, uh, saying there's a subject there who just shot at him uh, from a, a gold Kia. Uh, we're not sure if he's still there or you know, if anyone's injured or not at this point. We're still kind of getting the integration in right now, but we're, we're headed that way. I don't believe the accused is that quickie. The caller drove the quickie to call. Right. Those dispatches are updating now that this, you know, the, the shots fired occurred a, a little while ago and the, the accused and the victim are separated. He, he drove to the convenience store to, to call the police, so no one's currently in danger. It, it's definitely very normal for the story to change. You might get some initial information of, you know, from a, a caller, and as you're getting there, it'll you'll get more information. Their mission could could change. It can go back and forth. It happens quite a bit. And even then, once you get on scene, things can you know change again. You can always you know take the uh, the call notes what the dispatcher tells you as you know as truth. Yeah, right now we have an officer on scene talking to the victim of this incident, trying to gather some more information to give to other responding units to figure out where this occurred and who was, re you know, who actually the shooter was and what happened. Right. 15, I'll be with him in a second. There's a gold key SUV on Holmes here. So the, the accused vehicle in this call was a gold uh, Kia SUV. We located one here. Um, on Holmes Road. I'm not sure if it's related, maybe just be someone else who just owns a, a similar looking vehicle, but we're gonna look into it further. It's an uh, older lady coming to the door right now. This she was. White lady, black lady. White lady, I think. Yeah, Okay. Has anybody driven that in the last half hour or so? Okay. All right. Um, we just had a call about a vehicle similar to that down the road, and we just thought we'd stop at that and make sure everything was okay. You have a good day, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. So driving to the scene of this call, we observed a vehicle matching the description of the, the accused vehicle. Uh, stopped and upon our investigation, it looks like it just uh, happens to be, you know, a close proximity to the call, but not related to it at all. Made contact with the owners and which was not related. We're still getting more information that possibly maybe the, the suspect's left on foot now. So getting some conflicting information about actually what happened. Uh, right now, everyone's kind of spreading out. Uh, when kind of spread out to you know cover the big areas we can try to look for you know the suspects or the suspect vehicle so it's kind of flooding the area to do that right now especially when you got you know something where you know a possible shooting and accused vehicle in a shooting you're going to have a, a lot of officers show up you know for for safety there's there's strength in numbers yeah fairly often you'll you'll have an incident you know robbery or any really any type of crime happen in location and then the the caller might go someplace else where they feel safe to make contact with the police that's Always a good idea. If you're not safe, uh, we're just you know, a crime happened. It's a good idea to get someplace safe and then you know make the phone call if you're not able to do it right where you're at. We're gonna look for definitely you know where the actually shooting occurred. We'll we'll get out of our cars, look for any kind of shell casings, um, any kind of evidence of the actual crime. And uh, in addition to that, you know we'll we'll contact uh, neighboring jurisdictions, uh, let them know about. You know, it might be a, a suspect vehicle, getting the description of the vehicle and involved in a shooting. So other agencies are, are kind of aware of a vehicle to look out because a lot of times you might have a, a crime, you know, be committed in Lansing, but then they'll, they'll flee to another jurisdiction. So to try to avoid getting caught.